Okay, this video is called Highlights of this YouTube channel. So just because, you know, a lot of people that come, they're new to it, so I want them to have a sense of what's going on here. Well, first of all, we'll start out, the typical Americans, fat, sick, cognitively impaired, functionally illiterate, ahistorical, you know, clueless person. They're kind of being groomed for sickness and slavery, and basically, you don't want to let that happen to you. So this site helps you to avoid that happening to you. Um, if you go to any of the big, fancy universities and Ivy League so-called top-notch medical centers, when it comes to chronic disease, they all stink, every single one of them. And the reason is those diseases or the chronic diseases are mostly caused by diet and toxins. But diet and toxins are not taught in American medical schools or residency programs or fellowship programs. So doctors really don't know much about chronic disease. They're ignorant on it versus this YouTube channel covers all of that stuff in great detail. You can't cure, almost never can you cure a diet and toxin-induced disease with surgery or pills. And that's why all the big fancy Ivy League hospitals are all grossly incompetent. They're a joke, really, when it comes to diabetes, hypertension, and all the common diseases, which are the most common reasons people get sick and die. Um, and then that, what they all tend to do is they have a fake nutrition program. Um, if you go to the Ivy League schools and these other places, all the famous medical centers that I'm aware of, they're all going to give you some bogus version of the Mediterranean diet or the ketogenic diet. Those diets don't work. You don't hear about people being cured long-term of diabetes or hypertension or any of this stuff with a, with a Mediterranean or ketogenic diet. Okay, they're BS. High-fat diets are not healthy. They're sort of like a way to distract a chump. Well, you tried the diet. It didn't work. Therefore, you need to take a pill or a surgery. That's kind of how that game works. All right, we're going to talk all about, you know, how you, you get better from obesity. Tons of lectures on that. Hypertension, what causes it, how to improve your health. You know, what's the secret of it? Nobody knows. you got to eat more potassium. Okay, diabetes. <clears throat> we'll go through, you know, much more sophisticated biochemistry than any of the baby talk taught in medical schools, residency, or fellowship programs. Um, I know the fellowship instructors, okay, of endocrinology, okay, we're way beyond their level. Okay, um, atherosclerosis and heart disease, you know, we're going to go into a level of atherosclerosis that you can't get anywhere. You look at the guys doing research. I know who they are. I'm not going to say their names, but at the Ivy League schools. And, you know, what are they doing? They're trying to trick everybody into thinking it's due to inflammation so they can sell more pills. Okay? They're full of shit. All right? That's just a fact. All right? Okay. Um, autoimmune disease. <laughs> the so-called best textbooks will tell you they don't know what causes it. We already know a tremendous amount about leaky gut. We'll teach you all about that. Okay. Dementia prevention. Yeah, we'll show you what really causes dementia, not all this BS about Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is another fake BS, exaggerated thing just to trick people. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. We'll go through the deletory theories. We'll go through the Rogers neurovascular uncoupling theory, stuff that really helps you, that you can change your diet and behavior and stuff to improve. We'll go through academic study skills, how to be a great student if you want that, you know, write better, speak better, all that stuff if you're interested in it. So it's sort of, this channel is not just if you're old, fat, and sick, how to, you know, be reasonably healthy. It's about how to be the best you can be in terms of health and cognitive ability um, and athletic performance too. So we're interested in high performance, doing the best that we can, not just to be less pathetic than your fat relatives. Okay, the truth about the popular foods. I'll tell you the truth about stuff. I don't have any sponsors. This YouTube channel is just a hobby. I think it's fun because I see the opportunity that almost nobody is really coming out and telling the public the truth about all these things. So I'll do it. You know, there's a few great sites out there. Sure, Dr. McDougal, Chef AG, and there's a couple other really good ones too. But in general, you can't get the truth about most of these things. I know because my friends tell me. Like soy. Soy is the biggest crock of BS, but everyone thinks it's a health food, okay? Coffee is bad for you. People think it's a health food, including all these MDs and PhDs. They walk around thinking they're smart drinking coffee. It's a bad habit. Okay, all, we both talked about the problems with tea. talked about the joke of omega-3 fish oils is totally bogus. Um, we'll go through the biochemistry of complex subjects. I, I already got lectures on all this stuff. All, everything here is stuff I've already given at least one lecture on, if not multiple We'll talk about things that cause mitochondrial dysfunction because all that stuff, you know, the mitochondrial theory of aging, okay? Um, oxidative stress. Do you have more oxidants than antioxidants, okay? Um, dormant bacteria. We're going to go through some advanced theories of that, you know, like the Douglas Kale, Estheria, Estheresia, Pretorius theories, different theories of prions. This is all pretty fancy stuff. Uh, food toxins. I'm interested in the brain. That's another thing that's different. If you go to some of these guys, you know, McDougal, Esselstyn, Chef AG, they're all great, but they kind of come at things from the heart point of view. I'm coming at things from what is the best for the brain as well, which leads to an extra level of fussiness, meaning that I'm going to talk about the brain is fussier than the heart. If you can get the heart healthy, you can keep the entire body healthy. But there's additional things you can do besides heart health 
that improve brain health. And we'll talk about things like the effect of some of these different chemicals on here. There, there, there's a lot of things that have a negative effect on the brain that we don't think about so much for the rest of the body. Um, I'll try to show you the truth about music to the best I can. Uh, it's a long story, but I've studied a lot of music, and I especially like music with a melody, like classic music. I don't like beat music. I think beat music makes people stupid. And if I see somebody driving around in their car with beep, 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 a lot of beat music, I think they're making themselves stupid. You should listen to an audio book in the car. Um, I like Christian music best. You know, okay, now there's, you know, in the popular world, the modern world, it's, it's kind of considered the in thing to, to criticize Christianity. Well, I can tell you this, it's great, okay, and it, it makes people be nice to each other, and it's produced the best music, the best architecture, the best painting, the best cathedrals, the best whole lot of stuff in literature of anything in the history of the world, okay? Um, so I will talk about that, and if you don't like it, then go somewhere else, okay? Truth about art, um, I'll show you good paintings, because... You know, good painting, good art and literature, it ennobles you, it raises you up. I hate modern art. It's all fake. And it's partly done to degrade you. If you can accept that modern art and think that's good, even though it could be made by a child, then you're, you've are you been groomed to be a chump the rest of your life. So this is this, this YouTube channel is sort of to unchump you. Uh, we'll talk about literature, uh, lectures on literature, philosophy, and religion. I think religion means religati, legati, ligate, to tie together a people. And if people don't have common values where they respect the individual, then we're all screwed. We're all going to get, you know, sent into the modern electronic slavery. So anyways, that's a sense of what this channel is all about. I hope you find it helpful.